What's up guys, my name is Devin, also known as FBE, and welcome back to another episode of Footballers. In today's video, we're going to be counting down the top five skill cleats from the 2022 season. Now, to be completely honest with you guys, 2022 was a pretty weak year for football skill cleats. We didn't see a lot of brands drop anything new. Some brands reused the same stuff they released last year, and then a lot of it was really tough to get your hands on. But anyways, I have carefully created this top five skill cleat. And please keep in mind as you guys watch this video, this list is completely my opinion. This is based off of how I felt the cleats felt. You guys could wear the same pair of cleats and feel completely different about it. Everybody has different feet, different opinions. So please keep that in mind as you guys watch the video. Some of the aspects I did keep in mind as I made this video was the fit, the comfort, the traction, the style, and of course the price. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. We're gonna kick things off with number five, which is the Nike Vapor Edge 360 Speed. So yes, these cleats did originally release way back in 2020 but this is the third year nike has rolled them out and they are still a top five skill cleat i absolutely love wearing these cleats they're super lightweight they feel good on your feet and they do kind of remind me of the past silhouettes from nike vapor football the silhouette on these cleats is nice it's low cut it's super simple and the cleat itself is actually super lightweight weighing only 9.9 .9 ounces overall these cleats are pretty comfortable when you first put them on they are a little bit stiff but once you break them in they feel really solid as far as traction goes, these have Nike's Edge traction plate, which I've already talked about a ton on the channel, but here's a quick refresher. This is a two-piece traction plate with edge studs based on the outermost parts of your foot, so when you decide to cut, those studs are the first thing hitting to the ground, and it's super easy to get in and out of cuts. These cleats also have a plastic shank that runs underneath the insole, and that gives it a nice springy feel, so when you're running, you kind of spring into your next step, which feels great. Over the past couple years, these have come in a ton of really cool colorways, and then new for this year, they did their Air Max 95 colorways, which are pretty cool as well. These are one of the best budget cleats on the market for only $95 you get a good looking lightweight high performance football cleat coming in at number four we have the adidas addy zero 12.0 Last year's model, the 11.0, was a little bit more padded, a little bit heavier, but this cleat went back to their lightweight roots, weighing only 9.8 ounces. Adidas has finally gone back and is competing for that lightest cleat title once again. If you guys watch this entire video, you'll realize they are not the lightest cleat, um, but they are still extremely lightweight football cleats. Also new for the 12.0s, these have like this kind of inner liner booty thing, and it wraps around your foot really nicely. It's a nice snug fit. It's a nice thick foam material and it just feels really good on your foot. These do have the same traction plate as the last year model, which is a good thing. This is a great traction plate. It's one of the better ones on the market. It's definitely not as good as the Nike Edge plate I just talked about, um, but it's got a lot of spring to it. You've got some nice sharp triangle studs and cutting in these is no problem. These cleats also look pretty cool. You guys can check it out for yourself and they come in a lot of different colorways to match your team. These cleats are built for straight line speed. And if you guys want to get a pair, they're going to cost you $120 or $130 if you guys want one of the cooler colorways. Coming in at number three, we have the Nike Vapor Edge 360 Pro, which was number two on my list last year. So it's definitely moved down a spot, but it's still one of the best and most complete football cleats out there. When it comes down to these final three spots, honestly, it's really close and you can really interchange any of them, but I decided to put this one at number three. The Vapor Edge 360 Pro is one of the most comfortable cleats on the market. You have solid padding throughout, nothing too crazy. You get a little bit of extra right in the heel, and then you have this nice sock liner as well. These cleats also have Nike's ghost lacing system. So if you guys look at the front of the cleat, you'll notice you really don't see the laces. They do have a cover, so that's going to prevent them from getting torn up. And the cleat fits so tightly that I've heard a lot of you guys out there are commenting. You're saying that you take the laces out and just slip them on and it works for you guys. So if that's the case, um, go for it. But if you do decide to use the laces, these laces run through these little lace loops that pull up the side of your foot. So when you lace them up tight, you do really get a nice secure fit. These also have one of the best traction plates on the market. I just talked about it at the number five cleat. They have the exact same edge traction plate. Again, two pieces, edge studs at the outermost parts of your foot. So when you decide to cut, it's the first thing hitting the dirt and you get in and out of cuts fast. These are one of the heavier cleats on the list. These cleats weigh in at 10.6 ounces, which again is heavier than the cleats we've talked about so far. But you got to keep in mind, this cleat has a lot of material. We've got this nice thick upper. You have this, the ghost lacing sheath, and then you have a thick ankle collar. These cleats, just like the speeds, come in a lot of really cool colorways. And then again, new for this year, the Air Max 95 colorways, which are pretty sick. These cleats are 120 bucks, which is a pretty standard price for a skill football cleat. Overall, these are a good football cleat. They perform well, they look good, and they're comfortable. Coming in at number two, we have the Nike Vapor Edge 360 VC. These cleats feel super similar to the OG model from 2014, and I truly do love them, but just not enough to put them at number one on this list. The Vapor Edge 360 VC is pretty much everything we had hoped for. It's a lightweight, low cut football cleat, and it gives you that raw feel on the field. Just one of the best cleats I've tried recently. They're fire. These cleats fit really tight because of their narrow feel. And then they also have these fly wire cables running up the side. So when you guys lace them up, it tightens it around your foot and you get a nice secure fit. Unfortunately, when you're wearing these, you do feel this heel cup kind of digging into the back of your ankle, which sucks. But overall, these are one of the best performing cleats out there. Part of this great performance comes from the edge traction plate, which we've already talked about twice on this list. So you guys know the deal. Two piece, 
great for cutting, awesome traction plate, definitely the best on the market. Now it's definitely not the OG Vapor Carbon plate, but it is incredibly similar and it's a great replacement. You're still gonna get really good traction and you also get that same springiness feeling because of the plastic shank that runs through underneath the insole of this cleat. And of course, I think these cleats just look incredible. Yeah, it might be the nostalgia, but I'm super excited they finally brought back one of the greatest looking silhouettes of all time. You guys can't tell me this is a good looking football cleat. Um, it was a good looking football cleat in 2014, and I think it's a good looking football cleat in 2022. Now, unfortunately, as I film this video right now, they are only available in one color, and that's gonna be this black, white, and Volt. If they drop more colors, that would be awesome. Then they will take over the football world. And finally, these cleats retail for only 120. Honestly, Nike could have charged way more and I think people would have paid it. Um, but 120 is a great price for an awesome football cleat and pretty much the average price for a pair of skill cleats. Now, finally, at number one, if you guys have made it this far, please leave a like on the video. But at number one, we have the Nike Vapor Edge 360 Elite football cleats. To put it simply, these have been my favorite cleat probably ever and my go-to football cleat for the last three years. First off, these cleats are super comfortable and super lightweight, and that's because of this really soft but strong fly knit upper that just kind of molds to your foot. These don't have a ton of padding in the heel and around your ankle, but somehow it doesn't really cause any problems. When I wear these cleats, I don't really feel any discomfort whatsoever. I think they just fit good, feel good, and they're just ready to go. Also, like I said, these cleats are super lightweight. They weigh 9.5 ounces, which makes them lighter than any other cleat we've talked about on this list. And one of the lightest cleats in all of football, the only cleat I can think of that's lighter off the top of my head is the Under Armour Blur Smoke. And again, these have the best traction plate in football, the edge traction plate. I don't think I need to tell you guys about it anymore. You guys have heard me talk about it for the pros, the speeds, and the VCs, and it's on the elites as well. Also, as you guys can tell, these cleats look absolutely amazing. I have a whole bunch of different colorways from over the years. I have the OBJ kind of Primal Instinct. I have this in black, and then I have a white one as well. And then I have this premium colorway from the Super Bowl, um, Super Bowl 54 in Miami. They've come in so many different colorways, and now they are rolling out the Air Max 95 pairs. One thing I do want to bring up, which was kind of new to me, is that for the Elite version this year, they added traditional laces like you guys see on the Pros. In the past on the Elites, you guys got this really cool pull tab version, but they decided to change that, and I'm not really sure why. Honestly, I'm a big fan of the pull tab, um, but the traditional laces will have to do. Now, the only true downside to these cleats that I can think of is the price tag. This is a $200 football cleat, making them the most expensive retail price football cleat on the market. But honestly, I think it's worth it. I have so many of these pairs. They are my go-to football cleat for any type of football ever. I love them. They're comfortable. They're lightweight. They look good. There's not much more you can get in a football cleat, so I don't mind paying 200 bucks for them. There you guys have it. There's my top five skill cleats for 2022. Hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Is this list good? Is it bad? What's your favorite cleat? Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, considering like, comment, subscribe for more videos just like this one. My name is Devin. And thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Footballers.